rally the troops.
hope we pray for him today. I hope we really pray that uh, Republicans really get the wax out of their ears. Because I wonder really what they're thinking. I know they're quabbling about uh, the insurance companies. I know some say that insurance companies are going to get way too much money. Uh, it's uh, it's it's payback for the rich, make the rich richer, make the poor poorer, and, and, and things like this. Folks, insurance companies are always, always going to be about making money. They don't want to lose money. Do you think for any settlement, they're just going to have a lawyer say, hey, we want a lawyer that always pays out a settlement. We always want to just do right, and we're going to do it. Folks, they're always looking out for their own interest. They don't have to pay. They don't pay. But insurance is there, and there's supposed to be consumer protections that protect us when we need the care uh, for, for, you know, if, for anybody. And I think that's a good thing. It needs to be fair. Uh, it needs to be on the up and up where there's, there's nothing uh, uh, illegal about it or self-serving about it. But, you know, think about that. Nothing self-serving. They're for-profit business. This is what insurance companies do. And there's lobbyists that get paid to sit there and lobby about these things, and people get payoffs to, to, to do what they're and, and whether it's Democrats or Republicans, they both know on both sides what's happened here. It's just some give more to to left than they do to the right when it comes to voting people into office into seats, and that's just a known fact. But there's payoffs on the side, and it's always the case, no matter what it is. No matter what type of legislation it is, we're specifically just talking about health care. Okay? Just health care. But it's a lot of money, man. It's a lot of money. We're talking trillions of dollars. Trillions. It's a lot of people on the dole. It's kind of a big deal. But uh, this health care thing, I really, really, really hope that uh, some Republicans and get together and uh, have a coming to Jesus moment today uh, because I believe if the GOP can't get together and they're going to struggle over this and this measure to try to make a difference to figure out how they can uh, figure out uh, more important things like taxes and tax hikes uh, because taxes are a big, uh, big part of uh, uh, the Affordable Care Act with the, the tax hikes going up, it doesn't make it affordable. So there's just a lot of connections here. If you don't know a whole lot about it and how it affects, there's a lot of webs to be looked at. And again, this is above my pay grade. The numbers are so just long, and I, I just couldn't begin to understand it. But there's folks there on the committees. They understand this. There's experts that, that know what this is. But people get paid off to say all sorts of things, and they skew the numbers, and they make it look, the way they, they want to look at it. But the reality is anybody that wants to figure it out, just ask somebody around you that's got health insurance. Ask, ask somebody that's struggling. Just do research of how Obamacare is affecting people negatively in every state in the United States. Not great. Uh, think about that today when we're trying to hash them things out to just try to get our country back to where it needs to be, where people get fair and affordable health care um, without being gouged with the premiums, because that's what was touted, that Obamacare, he blessed you with Obamacare and that it was going to be affordable and you could choose your doctor and all that stuff. And it's been none of those things. It was a big, fat, juicy lie. What, what was touted? It was BS. And of course, no dem is going to come out and say anything oh but wait a second there is one tim kane but he is making a promise to the american people today he says obamacare will not be allowed to merely fail as president donald trump called tuesday to allow to happen but instead will continue to provide insurance for millions of americans but senator tim kane he he insisted insisted today even while conceding improvements are necessary we still could improve some things what do you think the republicans are trying to do why do you think it needs to be repealed what do you think that is there is amendments things that have to be redrawn up to make it work of course tim kane 
providing an interview or he was on morning joe there's a place to go well tim kelly the morning joe on msnbc perfect place for tim kane uh so he joined them talked to them and uh, basically says bankruptcies are cut in half people with preconditions are protected however improvements must be made he admits it And Kane said, as a member of the Senate Health, Education, Labor Committee, he wrote a letter in January to Republicans asking that the matter of health care be brought up in the committee and promising to help improve Obamacare. Really? Kane said that he hopes Senate Republicans listen to the American people and that their efforts to repeal Obamacare will fail. Wait a second. He said he wanted to help, but now he wants it to backfire? Really? I mean, does he not even hear what he has to say? I think his mouth is like diarrhea. It just keeps on running. I mean, did you just hear what he just had to say? Kane says he hopes Senate Republicans listen to the American people and that their efforts to repeal Obamacare will fail. He'll feel good if millions of people get hurt, says Kane. That's outrageous. He will we won't let him sabotage our health care system. We have to work on it in a bipartisan way to make it better. And you are? What do you have to make better? What do you propose to make it better? We haven't heard anything. He goes on, fear-mongering. You cannot threaten people with health care and expect them to go quietly, said Kane. A mother of the disabled child told me a week ago, when I was having a roundtable meeting in Virginia that picked the wrong group of people to fight with, the woman told me uh, that the parents like her to fight the system from the beginning when their childs are born, and they they won't let Medicaid be slashed without a fight. They badly miscalculated when they went after the Medicaid program, which is for kids, folks with disabilities, and seniors that came. The Republicans are not trying to erase Medicaid and Medicare. You idiot. See, this is the narrative that they want to. It's not going to pass, obviously, if you erase that. Nobody said that ever. Donald Trump didn't say it. Secretary of Health didn't say that. Nobody said that. It's erroneous. And quite honestly, it's a fat lie. A fat lie, folks. Another one. There's a Pinocchio for Kane, and most of the Democrats realize 